10 high-end and luxury beauty products that I can't live without. Hello friends, I'm so glad that you decided to join me. Last video I shared with you 10 affordable beauty products that I can't live without. This time I'm sharing with you my 10 high-end picks. And I normally don't share a lot of high-end makeup on my channel because I'm such a drugstore makeup lover, but these kind of have stole my heart and they're ones that are really, really awesome. And so I wanted to share them with you and kind of help you decide is it worth the money or not and these definitely are to me before we get started i always like to tell you what i have on for a shirt this is a ruched sleeve cap t-shirt i just love the weight of this for spring going on into summer this is going to be great it's kind of fitted a little bit and it hits right at the hip i really like this green color it's one of my favorites and then i also have on this sweet dragonfly necklace and earring set that I absolutely love. My rings, my fingernails will be listed and linked below. Some of the makeup that I do have on is from the 10 drugstore or affordable side that I can't live without. So make sure that you go watch that. I'll have it linked below or it's the video right before this in my video lineup. Hopefully I'll remember to put up a card, but sometimes I forget about that. Lots of times I forget about that. These are in no particular order. As a matter of fact, if I lost any of these, I would go out and I would repurchase them again in a heartbeat. So just so you know that. Let's start out with a product that I don't give a lot of thought to, but I know that if I don't have it in my kit that day, I'm gonna go, uh oh, <laughs> I really need that. Where did it go? I'm gonna figure out where it's at and I'm gonna get it. So this is the Benefit Highbrow. Now this could, used to be where the, you could either buy the highlighter color or the matte color now they've got both so they've got one on each side so you have a matte color that's a brightening color and then on the other side you have a pearl color and they're great this is one of the best pencils i've ever used very creamy very easy to use doesn't tug at all but i use this every single time i do my makeup and i use it in two ways the first way is i and i'm using the matte side of it and i just go into this little part of my Eye right there and this goes in there and it brightens up that eye look immediately and I like that it's a matte and not a shimmer because then it brings the light there without you know catching a little bit of shimmer as you're moving so it's not distracting you just notice that the eye is brighter and then I use it right underneath my eyebrow and I needed this and I waited to use this because I wanted to use it in front of you guys put it right up there underneath that eyebrow and it lifts that eyebrow now I'm going to do it on this side, but again, my hair is in the way, so that's lovely. Let's get the hair out of the way. Just right there under the arch of the eyebrow immediately draws your eye up. Now if you're going to a little bit fancier of an event or you want your eye makeup to be a little bit brighter or a little, have a little bit of shimmer, use that shimmer side. It's beautiful as well. It's got just a gorgeous, gorgeous shimmer to it. This pencil is one that when it was the single, I was repurchasing it again. When this one's gone, I'll be repurchasing it over and over again. I've never found any that were quite as good a color. I think they do have three or four colors in this though, maybe three. So there are colors if you do have a deeper skin tone. Love this, could not be without it. I also, last year when it came out, discovered this right here. And this is almost gone <laughs> because I love it so much. This is from Fenty Beauty and this is their stick foundation. This is one of the easiest foundations for a mature woman to use. Now, I will tell you that a tiny bit of this goes a long way, and that's why I feel like this is not only worth it, but because it looks so beautiful on the skin, that's why I repurchase it. So it's just creamy, super blendable, super easy, and it doesn't settle into any of my fine lines. It covers like a dream because I have a lot of discoloration on my cheeks covers so well you could use this for your concealer if you wanted it wanted to and the fact that you have something that goes up underneath your eyes that is the same color as your foundation really does help a mature woman and having their makeup look flawless because you don't have this too bright of a look for for concealer just a beautiful stick foundation one of the best i've ever found i have tried several but this is the one that I keep going back to. You know, that's my job is to test things. But this one, when it came out, it just stole my heart because it is that good and it looks that good on mature skin. And again, it covers really well. So don't go overboard on it. Use less and then you can apply more. If you use too much, you're probably not going to like it because it is very satiny, almost on the dewy side because it is that 
cream look to it, but using just a tiny bit and then, you know, just using it strategically in places that you might need a little bit more coverage. And by the way, it does last a very long time as long as I set it with a tiny bit of powder and a setting spray, even on the hottest days, it will still look very pretty at the end of the day, even though I've done a ton of running around or had a full day. Tower 28 came out with this concealer, I believe last year. And I bought it fairly quickly because I do, you know, try as much as I can. And I knew that the minute that I bought this, that this was different than any other concealer that I had ever used. And this is probably the prettiest no crease concealer that I've ever used. This I will put just a tiny bit on, dab it out, then let it dry down or set down and then blend it in with my finger or a sponge and it's gorgeous. And I have very, very dark circles and I have a lot of lines underneath my eyes and using this has been my savior. I'm somebody that can get their concealer to look pretty good right off the bat, but a few hours down the road or a little bit later in the day, it's gonna look either really mottled or it's going to look like I didn't put anything on and I'm gonna go, why do I look so tired or why do I look so terrible right now? And it's because the concealer just doesn't last. It doesn't play well with my mature skin. But using this one, little bit of powder, a little bit of setting spray, whichever you choose to set it, because yes, we have to set our concealer. Now, the lipstick that I have on right this second is one that is in that drugstore video. However, this lipstick from MAC in Fabi is one of the two that I reach for on the daily. Between that lipstick over there and this lipstick, I love this one because it has just a little bit of a shimmer in it, just a tiny bit. It's not like frost or overwhelming shimmer or anything like that. It just has a little glow to it. So if you are on a day when you're wanting to do a really quick out the door look where you have like five or 10 minutes, you wouldn't have to use a lip liner with it. You don't have to use a gloss on top of it. You can just go with this because it is a very satiny, creamy product. MAC makes some of the best lipsticks on the planet. Let's all get real. They really, truly do. They've got it down pat and I just, I love them. I have a ton of MAC lipsticks, but this one that's fabby, it's a particularly pretty lipstick because it does have that tiny bit of sheen or glow in it. And then also because it is that beautiful neutral rose color, just about anybody can wear it. So gorgeous lipstick, many, many tubes later. This is one of my favorites in Fabi. All right, this one will kind of speak for itself. The Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer. Take a look at my pan. <laughs> I'm almost down to the end of it. This is the one that I use every day to do contour bronze slash bronzing because I love that it is not too warm. And it's so hard to find a bronzer. There are not very many high-end lines that I like their bronzers in, but this is one of them. And this is called the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. This one is in fair. And the fair one is the one that I found that is that beautiful color between cool and warm and so it's very very neutral it's so pretty very buildable very creamy product this is a mature woman's dream because it is so emollient and so pretty you can use this as a contour because it is so neutral this pan was huge it's taken me a long time to get through it but boy it is one that i absolutely adore yes i use this every single time i do my makeup and yes i will be repurchasing this one when it's gone several years ago benefit came out with this highlighter and it's cookie and i heard about this from our dare mel and when she talked about it, she was just absolutely over the moon enamored with how gorgeous this is. And when I finally pulled the trigger and bought it, I knew exactly what she was talking about. This is one of the prettiest, most gorgeous, high, high beam looking highlighters without having any glitter. This just picks up the light and makes your face look so bright and so pretty. I'm wearing it underneath my blush today. It is a very versatile highlighter. You could use this on your eyes in the inner corner, underneath the brow, you know, across the cheeks, across the forehead, across the cupid's bow a little bit. Very, very versatile highlighter, extremely blendable, tiny bit goes a long way. Super duper pretty color because it isn't pink and it isn't yellow. It is just a gorgeous, 
almost a glow color without having any color. So I think that just about anybody can use it. I love it. It's lasted me such a long time and I dip into it every time I do my makeup when I'm not doing something specific for a look for you guys. All right, this product had to go in this video because by far and away, this is a product that I've been using probably the longest on my YouTube channel. Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I have brought this to you several times on my channel, but if I'm talking about products I can't live without, it would absolutely be this brush cleaner. Now I got this little tin in a kit that, st that started me off with this, that had a little bottle of the makeup brush cleaner in there. But I have to demonstrate this and I won't take very much time, but I put a very small amount in there. Now I'm just gonna clean a brush for you. Put a very small amount in that tin. Hopefully you will be able to see how much I have in there. It's not very much. This isn't in this video, but this is a product also that I can't live without because every time I do my makeup, I reach for this brush. See how dirty that brush is? So dirty. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tip of that brush and you're just gonna dab it into that Cinema Secrets. So you can see that it's just soaked up really quickly in there. You take a dry towel. You don't want a wet towel because you really are working with the product. You're not working with water at all. You're gonna rub it on the towel, but it doesn't dry out your brushes. And that's what's so surprising to me. Now, did you see how dirty that brush was? Look how clean that brush is now. And it's dry. And within like five minutes, you're ready to use your brush and it's clean. And love it. Absolutely love it. This is an hourglass dual sided blush and I use for highlighter. You can use it for powder or whatever you want to use. But this is my probably my favorite of all time brushes. I use this every time I do my makeup too. So this is a must have product. Although it wasn't in this product, this is a must have brush. But the Cinema Secrets, this is a must have for me. Bottle after bottle because I like to keep my brushes clean. I clean my brushes at least once a week with this. It really is very easy. It's just slick as a whistle and your brushes are clean. Since I'm somebody that does this for a living and I have probably over a hundred brushes, it would take a long time to go through them. So this is lovely. And I think that if you are somebody that just hates cleaning your makeup brushes, you're gonna love this product. It's gonna save you so much time and it's so easy. This powder from one size, that is the pink powder. I discovered the end of last year, somewhere about that. But what is gorgeous about this powder, first of all, look at the delivery system. Great, you're not losing anything. It's not a mess. It's just gonna be beautiful to be able to use this so easy. But that pink powder, it is so brightening. So look how bright it is there. So you probably need to be someone from medium to fair, fair to medium in that area to be able to use this. But he has so many powders that have different colors that I know that you would be able to find one even if you're deeper skin tone. But this looks gorgeous. It will brighten your complexion up so fast. I'm gonna use the other side of that hourglass brush and I'm just gonna take a little bit, tap off the excess. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just come up in this area right here and go across underneath my eyes. So this is gonna instantly blur out. Obviously keep your makeup from settling but this brightens, this is so brightening and it's so beautiful. And just a tiny bit goes a long way to give that brightening effect. And I do kind of just put it strategically around my face a little bit. Your look is going to be smoothed out and evened out, but also the brightening effect of that pink powder. There is something that is just absolutely gorgeous about that pink tone in this powder. For six months, I have been using this every single time and it never disappoints me. Love this powder so much. All right, from Kofi. These are a budge proof, waterproof eyeliner. And the reason that I'm putting this in, I can't live without these, is because if you are somebody that gets so frustrated with not being able to put an eyeliner in your waterline and it not staying, you might, like me, absolutely fall in love with these eyeliners. Now this one is the, the blue one that they have. First of all, they are super saturated and they also glide on like a dream. You can buff them out if you want to, to make less of a stark line on there. But once you do buff that out, once you do work with it, it is there. Now in the waterline, go in and put your first coat on and then wait a little while, maybe do your mascara or your eyebrows or something, and then put a second coat on. And I'm here to tell you, there is hours of waterline eyeliner in these liners. They are just 
intensely beautiful eyeliners. And if you're somebody that struggles with that, a little bit of smudging right here in the corner of your eye because your eyes water, I think that you're really gonna like these. These are the true waterproof formula. I've never found anything that I feel like was the true waterproof formula, but I do feel like these are. I hope that you do get to try one of these because I reach for these. As a matter of fact, I have a brown on today and then I put a little bit of a burgundy over top of it for shadow, but I just, put it in the corner, buff it out really good, and they're there until I take my makeup off. So these are a must have for me. And then rounding out to the end of this video is something that I've talked about over and over again on my channel, and it is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filters Setting Spray. I knew that this was special the very first time I used it. Not only did they nail the mist on this, I mean that mist is super fine. You're not gonna get it spitting all over you and you have to go back in and take care of the droplets that are on your face, but the formula on this has little polymers in it that go into your skin. They fill in your little fine lines, your little pores, and it just gives you that airbrushed look that looks flawless. So it lives up to its name. And the other thing that is amazing about it is this is a makeup setter supreme. This is absolutely definitely going to keep your makeup on from morning till night. This is absolutely magic in a bottle. I love this stuff. This again lives in my kit. It doesn't go anywhere. This is a brand new bottle because I had a little bottle from over the holidays that I finally went through, but I really love this. And it's not like you have to spray and spray and spray and get a lot on there. You know, you've got like three or four sprays and then also the benefit of your makeup looking so beautiful and flawless. I love this. In my opinion, this is a product that I absolutely can't live without. All right, that's the roundup for the high end or the luxury products that I can't live without. I hope that you did enjoy seeing my video today. Let me know in the comment section what your products are that you can't live without. And I don't care whether they're high end or whether they're drugstore, I don't care the price point of them. I just wanna hear from you and to be able to hear about really good products. That is always so much fun for me to be able to hit, get your input and then I usually run out and buy it myself. I'm just like you guys. You guys influence me and that is why we come together and have so much fun together. Thanks so much for giving me a little bit of your time today. Hope everybody is doing good and don't forget to come and see me really soon in my next video. Take care. Love you much. Bye-bye.